Well, that's the worst morning I've had in a van so far. No warning, um, tow truck comes up and puts a boot on my van. There's no signs up in this fucking parking lot and the Walmart guys are now just extorting money out of you. So they put the boot on and then they wake you up and then they tell you, hey, give me money or else I'm not taking this boot off and I'm towing your car. Um, but they don't warn you, they don't tell you anything. I'm really mad. That, tossed, that cost me 80 bucks. No warning. So, apparently, this is the Walmarts out in the outskirts. I don't even fucking... I mean, we're so far from the city, from downtown, this makes no sense. Oh. Man. Oh well, who cares. Last night, I was using my little pocket knife to open up a package and I nicked my finger and it was a pretty good one because I had, I think I lost nearly a cup of blood last night. So that was a bit of a mess. I didn't really film it because I was frantically trying to stop the bleeding. So um, I taped it shut and then I bandaged it up here and I'm just going to take it open and clean it up. But uh, yeah, it had me a little worried because I've never really injured myself in America before. And I have a health insurance and everything, but I just never had to actually use it. So I'm a little, uh, I was a little hesitant, a little scared. And, you know, losing that, lot, that much blood was kind of scary too. So just a stupid little cut. You know, just a stupid, stupid slip of the finger and boom. So anyway, I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to make some breakfast. And uh, I'm going to go to the salt flats this morning. But yeah, I'm still really upset about that stupid freaking boot and that stupid towing company. I can't help but feel like it's some sort of scam. Because towing companies are just so illegitimate. Like, every time they show up, they've got, like, no paperwork. they got no nothing to give you any confidence that what they're telling you is even close to the truth. So, that is the first red belt. But then also, it's like... I have never ever had this experience across the entire continent of, New of North America. I've never once had this experience with Walmart. So, I mean, I went and looked it up. I looked up that location and uh, sure enough, I've had a few other people message about it and talk about it. But um, I could have just like switched my spare tire with the one on the boot and drove and driven off. Uh, could have used my tools to cut it off. But with this injury, and, you know, just the fact that, like, uh, I just couldn't be bothered, man. I, uh, it just got me down. It's just all this, it just feels really shitty. So, I just lost that money. 80 bucks. Which, I'm sure some of that just goes straight into the driver's pocket. Like, I'm sure that's not the fee they're charging. Um, yeah, it's just negative energy, man. It's just... Just a bunch of negative energy, just gonna make you feel like crap, and I'm just gonna try and get rid of it in my head because it's not gonna do me any good dwelling on this. It's not gonna do me any good thinking about revenge or what I should do, and it's just annoying. I have breakfast instead, and I want some coffee, and I'll be so much happier after coffee. I always am. Maybe what I need is to burn a little gas, put some miles on this van, and go see some salt flats. I'm going to have to drive an hour and a half out of the city, and the whole time I'm driving along the salt flats, but to get to the actual salt flats, the Bonneville salt flats, it takes an hour and a half of just flat, straight driving. Hey, well, this is probably a really bad idea. As you can probably hear, got like 80 kilometer an hour winds out there snow off and on it is an absolute terrible day and um you know been on my bucket list forever getting out here to these salt flats 
and I'll be damned if I'm not gonna race my motorcycle across them. I might not be able to go fast, and uh, you know what, it might suck, it might be very uncomfortable, and I might hate myself the whole time I'm doing it, but if I don't do it today, I'm gonna regret it forever. So I'm gonna get it done, and I'm gonna start heading south. And I'm gonna get the hell out of this cold, oh my god. I did not leave Canada to freeze my niblets off, okay? I came here to be warm, Jesus. extremely painful. The hand that holds the clutch is the one I gashed and you need the clutch and a few times I squeezed it too hard and I cracked it right open. It's a pretty big gash. Ugh. See it doesn't hurt when it was just chilling out but then sometimes you put your hand in a certain position and the blood pressure increases and it just throbs with this insane intense pressure. Uh, but I've got it all cleaned up and I've got it all, I taped it shut so now it's busted and I'm probably going to have to do it all over again. But I really don't want to open it up because it's just a fountain of blood. I lost quite a lot last night and uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's super healthy for me to lose that much more so I'm just going to keep it shut up for now and, and I'll clean it later. Oh. <sighs> Was it worth it to come out here? Yeah, yeah, that, that brief, the few seconds there was just amazing and having Champ and all this space to yourself was just spectacular, but, and the views are phenomenal. I just, I'm not in the best shape today. <sighs> that $80 charge this morning, the cutting my finger last night, the freezing cold, the wind that's like 80, 90 kilometers an hour, I don't know, I'm not a fan. 
some days are tough, you know? And, uh, I've been spoiled lately. I've had a lot of really good days, so. I'll just have to get through this one. And, uh, I'll make up some kilometers, because I do enjoy the driving, so. I'll get on the road. <laughs> campground for tonight is called the Little Sahara. So basically it's a bunch of small sand dunes in the middle of Utah. And it's free because it's BLM land, but I have the America the Beautiful Pass, the annual pass it's also called, uh, or the National Parks and Federal Recreational Lands Pass. It's $80, but it gets you into all national lands. They're talking about BLM, we're talking about national forests, seashores, lake shores, um, Parks, national parks, of course, and uh, it gets you discounts on a lot of those camping spots. And then it also gets you free camping, like the few times where there are fees on like BLM land and national forests or national dunes or whatever, the few times that there are fees for camping, it becomes free. So the few times I've found that where there's been a fee where the, the pass doesn't cover it, it chops it down to like a dollar or 50 cents a night. It's a nominal amount it really makes no difference so anyway i find it's a very good bang for your buck this is the second one i bought because uh, i don't have the first one anymore and yeah maybe we'll have a little campfire although there it's pretty much a blizzard i'm in sand dudes and there's a blizzard at least i can guarantee one thing i'll have the place to myself <laughs> 